Hi, it's Seta here. In this video, I will show you how to create the lightning during the sunset dusk in the Unity. This is the third video of the series about the lighting, so if you haven't watched the previous one about noon and dawn, you should definitely check them too. The dusk is very similar to the dawn, but there is few differences between them. The most common colors during the sunset are red, orange and purple. The sun appears larger than during the day and shadows are longer and softer. The colors appear much more saturated than during dawn and the clouds are darker. So now when we know that, let's go to the Unity and try recreate this sunset dusk lightning. Ok, so we have this tutorial scene. First, we must add a global volume, so right click, volume, global volume, and then new, add override, visual environment, let's select all, sky type will be physically based sky, background clouds, we no need this, and ambient, mood dynamic. Add another override, sky, physically based sky, let's select all and set this ground tint to white. Ok, so now let's move to the directional light and we need set up this directional light to be low on horizon like this now we need to change the intensity so click on the sun and select low sun because the scene has too much bloom we need to go back to the global volume and add another override Osper Sync Bloom and we select all. Now we can better see the size of our sun. So let's go back to the directional light. And in the shape, let's increase just a little size of our sun. Like that. and decrease the flower size and we need to increase this flare fall off ok, go back to the global volume and now we need to increase this intensity ah, that should be good now we add another override Exposure, select all, then click on this icon and select low sun scene. Ok, let's go back to the directional light and in the temperature, let's set the map to 4000. Now let's add some clouds to our scene. I use volumetric clouds, so to enable it, click edit, project settings, quality, HDRP, and then let's select volumetric clouds, and global illumination, screen space reflection, transparent, and select graphic, HDRP global settings, we need to select camera, lightning, transparent. Ok, go to the global volume, add override, sky, volumetric clouds. Let's select all, in the cloud preset we set Custom, let's enable clouds, 
You can select local clouds, but I don't use them in this tutorial. Okay, uh, in the density, we need to increase this a little bit uh, because we want to get a darker area in these clouds. Now let's decrease the lowest clouds to 100 and cloud thickness to 1000. Now here you can change the position of the clouds because we don't want to the clouds cover the sun. If you want to the clouds keep the same position, select custom and set the global wind to zero. Okay. Now let's decrease the ambient light probe dimmer and in the custom density let's change a little density of these clouds like this. And now we add some volumetric fog, so add override fog Let's select all, enable, enable volumetric fog and let's increase the max high just a little and fog distance. In this case it will be 200. Now we add another override, lightning, SS global illumination, select all and lightning screen space reflection and select all now we need to do something with these dark shadows so go to the directional light and first let's increase this resolution to high and then you can use dimmer to decrease the shadow but if you have uh, some internals like uh, a house or something similar like this when you decrease this dimmer the wall broke the shadows but the specular reflection from sun will be still visible so let's remove this and go edit project settings hdrp and in the shadow section let's change this to the eye. Okay, so as you can see the shadow has changed. There is no hard shadows like before. I show you again the difference between the medium settings and the eye settings. This option has a slight performance impact, but the shadows look much better. And when we set filtering quality to high, in directional light shadow sections we have high quality settings, so we can change this blocker sample count, blur intensity or diameter scale to sharp shadow. So now let's add a local volumetric fog, right click rendering local volumetric fog. Let's increase the size to 100 in all direction. Let's change fog distance to 700. And let's change the albedo Uh, 
or something like this. Okay, now let's add Reflection Probe. So, right click, Lightning, Reflection Probe. Let's increase this Reflection Probe to 100. Check use Influence Volume. Let's blend distance just a little. Let's set this probe something around 2 meters above the ground. Here. And bake them. Okay, now let's increase the multiplier of this reflection probe to something like this. And now in the global volume, let's add another override, shadowing, micro shadows, let's enable all, let's set them to the half, and another override, post-processing, shadows midtone highlights, let's check shadows, and increase just a little. And now let's add another override, post-processing and white balance. Let's enable temperature and tint. And from this moment it's up to you what final effect you want to get. You can move this temperature slider to get a little colder sunset or a little warmer. Or give him a little reddish tint. And that's all for this tutorial, thank you for watching and if you have any questions write me them in the comments below. I also recommend watching other tutorials in this series and until next time, see ya!